I've been doing Zoom calls from, uh, I did some in the car um, because it's actually a pretty nice sound isolated space and in a good comfortable seat. Right before spring break, we were faced with this crazy situation that none of us had really ever seriously thought about, you know, with, with the advent of online education, it's, it's always battered about like, what could you do with a class like 007? And, and you know, our, our brief answer is typically like a, teach a very different class. The main learning experience is built around creating a robot from scratch to compete in a final competition at the end of the semester. Where we usually are this time of year is the students are frantically finishing their robot designs and building them to get them ready for the competition. Obviously that's not happening right now. And uh, what we're gonna do is actually run that competition next year. Uh, so we will recycle it. When you're taking such a hands-on class, uh, what have the challenges been in, in making that a virtual experience for students? The hands-on component of it is so important and so unique. It's really where the students blossom as engineers. So we cannot replicate that in an exact way. But what we've done is tried to build up other elements of, of their, their evolution as a design engineer, really focused on, on designing uh, in detail and analysis. It's not tip in this direction. What I'm concerned about is you're putting a torque in. And like in this new format this semester, we've really kind of tailored our teaching to each individual student to help them go into a deeper design exploration. And also, we're getting that focused one-on-one -on -one time in our meetings where the blinders are on, we're talking about one thing, we're both looking at this iPad screen, and we can dive a little deeper in one area, whereas in the lab, there's a million things going on around them, and they're concerned about like making their robot and doing all these fabrication tasks, and they're just bombarded with a lot of stimuli. So it's not all bad, but it's not the experience we want the students to have. Sure. That's really understandable, but I think it's it's wonderful to see how you and the teaching staff have been able to pivot with what only two weeks advance notice to kind of restructure the course and, and maybe prioritize other lessons that you, you normally wouldn't. One thing I think we we did well in, in doing the course pivot was approaching it as a design problem. And, and bringing the students in with us in figuring out what is the best solution for the remainder of the semester. And so as the school was looking like it was going to lock down and that the semester was gonna go online, we reached out to the students and said, look, we're all in this together and we're all designers and we're gonna approach this as designers. And what that entails is looking at a variety of options of how we could conduct this class and also getting feedback from all the relevant stakeholders, including you. We wanna hear from you in what you want out of this class. Yeah. But thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Cool, thanks Lauren. Bye. So do you want me to give you a rundown of that? Yes, I do, but I'm so sorry. Just as you gave that wonderful answer, like 15 different cop cars just went by.